Fears to Fathom, Episode 4, Iron Bark Lookout, May 12th. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. That's the gay last game I was playing. What I'm about to recount what <clears throat> what I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels like of feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing the story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small job as a park ranger in State Park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific and Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. <clears throat> this one time I was transferred from one of the outposts to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I have lived out of my RV and likely, likely traveled, traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive two-hour drive kind of uh I think I remember taking five-hour long drives before and that's just going across Virginia for some odd reason okay Dang. Game just got a little loud as soon as I started revving up the engine. Okay. Still sucky at driving, so I'm sorry about that. Kayla Nelson. Like I said, I'm not going to be texting and driving. I lived a very solitary life. It helps keep quiet in my mind, keeps memories at bay. Okay. <clears throat> this is not a very bad looking game. I love how beautiful the daytime is in this game. I think this is like the only game, well, the only Fears to Fathom game that shows deer in the daytime before it goes straight into the dark stuff. I would try to read the messages now, but I don't want to crash into anything. Like I have time to read messages while I'm driving. I'm trying to be safe here. All right, I better slow up here. Looks like that's where we're stopping at. Oops. Well, my bad. I mean, I didn't think a pole was going to be anything that mattered as soon as I got past it. It's, you know what? I'm just going to make it easy on myself and just stop. Should have taken it easy. It should have stopped. Okay. All right. The 
diner. I gotta talk to this guy. See, how's that burger? This little piece of heaven. This place is pretty much my weekend spot. You're new around here? Um, let's see, just passing through. Have a safe journey. And if that food's pretty good in there, I'm going to go ahead and go check it out. Try out some of that burger. Yeah. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good, how about you? Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. Alright, thank you. See if I can talk to some of the locals here. See, how's the food? He just stared at me. See, you look all lost. I'm just passing through. So where are you headed? Let's see. The new job. <laughs> okay. Cool. use a very not too shabby of a diner looks nice looks like something that I would see just outside of my hometown good evening I'm Barbara are you ready to order yep uh, let's see cheeseburger with fries and a large coke I like coke perfect anything else let's see that'll be all thank you Sounds good, appreciate it. Hmm. I always had this habit of peeing before eating. You know, for some odd reason, I did too. That's kind of weird to bring up, but... I mean, I guess, um... It wouldn't be so bad to get to know... To get to know a person. Oh, thank God I did not hit a C again. And Carson House, oh my god, that was really bad habit of me. <laughs> Almost made a mess the first time, and then I did make a mess the second time, which I felt pretty good the second time. Okay. Oh. Phone out of my pocket. Oh, I felt my phone went off. Alright, I think... I think that's my order already? Ah, oh, dog, okay. <laughs> Alright, give me some of that food. Alright, let's eat. Consuming. Consuming. Fries. I lifted up the whole thing of fries, didn't I? Oh, wait, that's right. Um, you're arriving on Friday. Uh, you'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show him your ID. Let's see. I'm here still eating. This is so good. Oh, okay. Told you. Oh, she was the one who suggested me this place. Huge swig. <laughs> I always wanted to have a cup that says a huge swig. That food was good. Yes. Okay. I'm on my way home. Did you Did you enjoy your food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? Yep, check please. Thank you. All right. Hopefully nobody touches my RV. You know, I've always wanted an RV. I always wanted to like have like a good size RV and did like a traveling job and making YouTube videos while I was traveling across America. Actually sounds like a very, very, 
very weird type of dream, huh? <laughs> Here's the check. Your total is six dollars. Let's pay six dollars with. I'm feeling generous. Fifty percent tip. There we go. Thanks for the generous tip. Yep. All right. Let's get out of here. Hmm. Oh, very bad little place. Let me check to make sure my recording is still going. Because I kind of... Kind of felt like it wasn't working much. But thank God it still is. Okay, so before I go, I'm going to take a look around the RV real quickly. I know this is not like my actual place that I'm staying at, but... Alright. Too shabby. The bathroom door was strangely jammed. This is my bedroom. Okay. Okay. There we go. On our way to the Iron Bark State Park, I think is what it was called. Ow. Barriers? Yeah. All right. Back on the road. Okay, I guess we're not going to waste any time with any more driving, hopefully. AO 2 p.m. Oh, yeah, here we go. Deer in the middle of the night. I want to include the location of this park. But I don't want anyone seeking out the other horrors uh, I've seen in these woods. There we go. All right, I'm guessing I gotta take this with me, or guessing they might be somewhere over here at the gate. Oh shit, son of a! Ooh. Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. You scared me. Hey, Laura, have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Let's see. You're Billy, right? I'm a new transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring... What in the hell? Somebody was just hiking over there. He's in. Hey, let me check on that. I just saw somebody over there. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season, but here you are. Here are the keys. Tower key. Let me open the trail gate for you. Hmm. Gotta take my RV through here, or... Uh, no, it actually looks like, uh... Let's see. 
Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the for the long hike to your lookout. Thank you, Billy. You be careful. Take this. Okay. Welcome to Iron Bark, pal. Now for our purpose, when you get to our tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to our tower to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. Oh god. Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or or so north of your tower. You got it. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. You got it. Thought he was trying to scare me, but he looks dead serious. Okay. To our lookout. God, this is so horrifying. Okay. And yeah, this is a lot more different than the, um, than Home Alone or Norwood Hitchhike or Carson House. This is so much different. It looks like they're trying to mix all three and mix it into one. That would be kind of creepy. Eleven thirty-two p.m. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Three hours of a hike. That's crazy. Tower eleven. Okay. See, looks like my tower is just up this hill. Yep, there it is. There's my tower. Living on a fire t in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. I'll just leave that there. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Wood. Okay. Got me a poor pie if I ever need to use the bathroom. I'm assuming there's no bathroom up there. I ascend to the stairs at the top of the tower. Okay, I could open these up. I'm gonna do that real quickly. And I'm assuming that's Tower 12. I don't see no other tower than, the, than these two. Ah, here we go. Oh, just like all the other three games. Hey. System password is Iron Bark Tower Number. Okay. Okay. See, I iron bark eleven. Okay, sweet. Hmm. Clickety click. Here's a random fact for you, Amazon rain rainforest. Produces 20% of the world's oxygen. It's often referred to as the lungs of the earth. 
for its crucial role in generating the oxygen we breathe. Huh. Grand Canyon in the United States is not only breathtaking, but also incredibly old. It's estimated to around 6 million years old. That's pretty cool. Okay. That's my report. Welcome to state-of-the-art service report. I'm Jack. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. See, who's this? Connor, Fire Tower 12. <clears throat> you were watching? Tower, but had to cover your area until you arrived. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? See, just looking for a change. I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. <laughs> Iron Horse. Really tired. No. Yeah, thanks, but first, I'm gonna uh, take care. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department. I definitely know this is Jack Septiguy. Parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. I think I will. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Uh, let's see, we're going to need to uh, see temperature, wind speed, weather condition, number of hikers assisted, reported by... I know my name is Jack. I don't see the smoke. What's okay, give me a second, dude. Jeez, I'm trying to do my job. 44.2 degrees Fahrenheit. What's this? Oh, this is where I can read the wind. 18. So it's 18 K N and the degrees is 44.2 40 44.2 degrees um clear here's assisted zero jack all right Awesome. Okay, now I can do the fire thing. There's no, no firewood. Fire. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Huh. Marley. Amber, who was in the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put you down. Okay, so I gotta get down to the... Let me see. Let me check to see if the gas is... Yeah, gas is up here. And, um... Looks like my bear spray. My... Oh, my match. Oh, uh, looks like I got everything up here. And everything else is down there at the shack, so... I'll just go ahead and start grabbing the wood. I always want to make sure that I'm prepared with a lot of things. Yeah, all my stuff is right here, so... I'll go ahead and start, uh... Start getting the wood together. Well, wood together in the stove. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? 
Uh, yes. I actually did. Is he gonna make me do it again? Okay, yeah, I already did it. Let's see, Jack. Okay. Did you report for the night yet? Very well. Yeah. Anyways, I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Huh. <laughs> Say good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Say, well, yes. Oh, well. Oh, okay. I didn't get that much text messages like I did in the first three. Maybe there won't be receiving any text messages. Always close the boards outside before heading to bed. Okay. All right, go look around real quickly. Hmm. Now oh, a very bad forest area. Pretty beautiful. Okay. Okay, and call it a night. Three twenty six AM. Of course something's gonna start. Connor. I had to pee. On my first night being out of being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Space to pee. Oh, that's a pretty smart idea. Just go up the go near the edge and pee. Um if you guys take a closer look, there's somebody down there. One I don't want to say. Hey, wait a minute. What the hell? Where's he going? Okay. Cool. Guess and that's not my case scenario. Guess go back to sleep. Guessing it's like a um security guard for nighttime. <laughs> I mean then again that probably oh, Okay, here we go. Coffee. Coffee in the morning time. Take another sip. Alright, screw the sips. Let's take it down. Let's chug it down. Okay. There we go. Pretty peaceful looking area. Take it with a view of that um, lookout tower. There we go. I really like this game so far. Really making things interesting in this one, I will say that much. New guy, do you copy? This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? Okay, I better, um... Tower 11, do you copy? 
Copy. Copy that, Connor. What's up? Son of a bitch. Uh, excuse me. Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look. Oh, wait, I see something. Oh, yeah, I definitely see something. Yeah, I see it. Let's say okay, heading north, I'll report back on it. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Over and out. Alright, my very first mission. Here we go. I think this is where all the horrifying stuff is probably going to begin. This actually reminds me of a creepy pasta that I've read. Actually, I've listened to an audio story of it, but um, but there was a creepy pasta about the something that's similar to this, and it's a um, a lookout tower kind of incident, but it was more supernatural than this. It was an hour long video, so I'll have to find it for you and put a link in the description below so you guys can check that video out. I knew it. It was gonna be nighttime, thank god I brought the flashlight. No camping. Violators will be sighted and moved. She gives the best head. What's with the three hanged people? Okay, there we go. Always have to make sure the spray works. Huh. Pretty cool look at machete. Emergency closure. Who's there? Yeah, who's there? Show yourself. The area beyond that site was closed. Just putting the fire out it's gonna be necessary. There we go. Okay. God, this really weirded me out. Nine oh seven PM. Let's see, I hiked back to my tower through the dark. I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might be happened. Or what might have happened. I don't even have no idea of what happens. <laughs> That's really giving me a little bit of an unnerving feeling. Very deep, dark feeling. All right. Well, I made it back to my tower.
Whoever's following me. I got I got some bear spray. Not afraid to use it. Okay. Okay, I guess I better report that. Let's see. Tower 12, do you copy? Hey, Karn, do you wow, copy? I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Okay, talk about campsites. Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? Let's see, what do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has been happening a lot? <laughs> See, so mentioned sc scream. A scream must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. How oh, weird! I didn't hear no scream. It was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area. Wait. The picture of the hangman? Three kids? See, so what happened to those kids? We don't know. Their parents said some whistle let them off the trail. It's unbelievable. People have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. Glad to be a service. Right. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Agreed. Keep me safe, new guy. Over and out. You too, over and out. Okay. Guess I better do that report thing really quickly. Okay. Let's see. Eighteen knots. Eighteen knots. Eighteen knots. Come on now. Oh, come on. Okay, whatever. I'll I'll remember that. Forty-seven point two. Let's see, forty-seven point two of eighteen knots. <clears throat> Number of hikers. Two, I guess. Reported by. Alex? Hello. Oh, they accepted my name? My actual name? Okay, that's pretty fun. That's pretty cool, actually. Okay. Guess, um... Let's see... Pizza pasta bake. Let's see. Uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni. Pepperoni. Mozzarella cheese. Oh, here it is. Mozzarella cheese. The diced tomatoes. There we go. See, do I need that? Uh, no, nah, it's milk. That looks like the exact same milk from Carson House. Let's see. Pasta. 
See, I need some marinara sauce. Where would that be? Is that still in the fridge? Yeah, there it is. Marinara sauce. Pasta. Nice tomatoes. Mozzarella cheese. Pepperoni. Stick it in the oven. There we go. Okay, place all the ingredients in casserole. Bake at 420 degrees. Bake for 35, 40 minutes. Enjoy. Yep, I am still here. Let's see, Connor? Just reported their ass to the authorities. Hmm. I hope they can track them down and give them peace of mind. Show you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Hey, thank you, Connor. Cover 12, signing off. Over and out. Good night, Connor. Foods ready. I better um I better make sure the uh because I think I'm gonna call it a night too since I've just got done with my report. Is there a fire still going? There's not. Okay. Guess real quickly, I'll grab some firewood. Grab some firewood and just place it in there and start the fire and I'll be all warm and good and golden. Okay. Let's do this. This is like, um, if like Five Nights at Freddy's was in a forest. That'd be kind of weird and a little cheesy, wouldn't it? If anybody can, like, actually make a game like that, then I will definitely play it. Let's see. Okay. Okay, I knew that was going to happen. Okay. Now let's go sleep. Well, eat while I sleep. It actually looks really good. I think I actually might try something like that. Try and make something like that. Oh man, that is really mouth watering. My mouth is like really watering right now for something like that. What do they call that? A pizza casserole? Okay. That was full. Okay. Report's been done. Okay, let's go sleep. Let's see what other oh, two twenty-seven a.m. I was woken by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift. What in the hell? Oh, um. Uh, okay. 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 Crap. Okay, that's just great.
Oh, you're freaking kidding me. I didn't know what to make of it at that at the moment. Okay, that was, um... <laughs> oh god, that was pretty freaky. I guess I had to talk to Connor. Let's see, Connor, do you copy? I need to talk to you, it's urgent. You there? Oh yeah, I do, but you know, I need your attention. There's something outside, outside my door. See, what if this is not a prank? Hmm. Well, that guy, that dude right there was a little too big to be a kid, I will say that. didn't make any sense there's nothing else I could have done in the dark oh boy okay this is interesting this is getting a little too interesting night three next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream Connor tried to reason it as harmless prank by some kids but there's something about that night that just felt darker. There is something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 p.m. Oh, hell, okay. This is some messy, um, very messy binoculars. That's funny. That is very funny. Hello? Is anyone there? I, I need help. Please, someone answer. Okay. Um. Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Jack oh. Tower 11. Take a deep okay, breath. Okay. okay, what's the situation? I, I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. And, and now it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think I think I'm lost. Can you describe your current location? I, See what? Trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Um. Take the I'm right. Going to be honest, I had my suspicions on the left trail, but if you say so, right one it is. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Uh, making decisions dark would be challenging. What do you mean? I hear your whistles. That's not me. What? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. me Wait, what? Hello? Oh, okay. <laughs> God, that freaked me out. 
Holy moly, what took you so long in there? I've been knocking for hours. I was I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour? May the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. See, here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Oh, hang on one second, guys. I'm going to take a charger for my, uh, my headphones. Got a little beep beep. There we go. See, what were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north, why were you there? I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. That's his favorite words, isn't it? Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. And maybe cults? Yes, I will try my best to be careful. Got enough to keep me occupied here. Let's see, Mitch in the skull. didn't think about it I really didn't think about that like I should have okay that's good guess it might be safe if I get some more firewood I was too hungry okay, you're too hungry to get firewood I guess I better do that quick report. One. Okay, 56.4 degrees. 56.4 degrees. Fifty-six point four degrees with twenty-six knots. Twenty-six knots. Fifty-six point four degrees. Twenty-six. Let's see clouds. I helped one. The wind, I guess. There we go. All right. There we go. My report's done. All right, now I can eat. I like the chewing noises that these game series have. It's like blub, 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 blub. Yeah. Yeah. Me another dish for me to wash. Now let's get to that firewood. Pretty sure we're gonna need it. Firewood. Hmm. Can I open this? Don't know why I ever wanted to, but the door was open. Okay. you see you just gave me a heart attack I understand loneliness can make your mind play tricks on you what's your name names can be deceiving call me Silas 
No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I'm just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Oh, okay. Are you sure you're not like, uh, you're just like that hotel guy from the, um, from the hitchhike? Cause you kind of, I think you kind of look like him, but more sad looking face. Do you usually work this late? Okay. Um, I agree. Fire risks are high potential. Or high priority, I think. Uh, I'll see you around, Silas. Okay, I'm done talking to you. You're crazy. You're weird. <laughs> that guy gave out the creepiest vibes. Yeah, I know. I was done with talking to him. Wasn't he the dude that was out here in the middle of the night the other night? See, loud and clear. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Went down to get some fire. Um, I ran into Silas downstairs. Ran into who? I knew he was not going to know him. <sighs> Just about yesterday. What do you mean? My chain now. What do you mean? Then who did I just talk to? If what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. He knew your name. You think he's been listening? Possibly. By the way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Anyways, sure. I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. All right. Good night, Connor. And I over and out. God, that was the most freakiest I've ever encountered. Okay, so I know now this guy is not one of us. Yeah, this dude is definitely not one of us. I know I got his name. His name is Silas. I think that was the name. God, but that was so damn creepy. Okay. See, I've already done the report and everything, so I should be good. Let's go to sleep. Is it cheap? My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that I, it was just a change of the environment that I needed to get used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. 9.18 p.m. I'm listening. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. See, thanks for letting me know. See, I'm gonna go ahead and get that update done. Let's see. 
Let's see. C-H... C-H... K-U... Let's see. Let's see. Update. Okay, enter the package code. I uh, see four three four six zero eight. Okay, let's see. Active line one zero four five. See five nine eight seven. See five four eight seven. Okay, there we go. Your system is now up to date. Oh shit. Um Okay. Okay. Where's my flashlight? Oh man, freaking raining out here. Big huge storm, isn't it? <laughs> The generators ran out of gas. Okay. Really had to pee before going back up. Oh. Okay, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and check my gameplay here just in case. Okay. okay. Let's wait. Managed to get my stuff going pretty good. One week later. Oh man, we've been up here for about quite some time. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover for his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. They might have been on the only time I've ever talked. Unless I was talking to myself. 2.34 a.m. We got another one. I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. Jack? Jack? I need you to wake up. You copy? Okay. Hmm. Jack, you copy? Right here, car. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happens? Let me have a look. Uh, probably another one of those, uh, one of those campers or disappearances. Uh. You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Okay. Well, you know, the camp is just over here. What the hell is this? Oh my God, it's the missing people. They're being burned alive? What are these people? 
Oh crap, oh hell yeah, I'm gonna take a photo of them. Get some evidence. Prove that I'm not crazy. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, oh my god, okay. Okay, okay. Oh no, okay. Um. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh, what am I gonna do? Um, oh god, okay. Throw away the evidence. Hide. Oh god. god. Please don't come up here. 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 Oh god, he's coming up here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Um. Um. Hi. Don't, don't look down here. Don't look down here. Don't look down. Oh, thank God. Oh my God. We have to make a run for it. Oh! Oh, okay. Okay, time to sprint. Go. Go. Goodbye. 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 Run. Run. <sighs> oh, please don't see me! Okay. Oh, no. Please don't look in here. Please don't look in here. Oh, where are you going? Okay, go. Go. Go now. Run. 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 Run, run, just go, 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 go now. Go now. Okay. Okay, we should be safe now, right? Okay. Come on. Go now, go. There's my RV. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Go, 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 go. Goodbye. 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 Run, 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 run. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Go, go. Now, 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 now. Oh. As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in alert to HQ. Look, Jack, we all got a little stir crazy out here. Mitch answered. What? Next morning, authorities Helsley ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set foot in the woods. Uh, the unease still sits heavily in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character, but I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Okay. Oh, 
my god, okay, that was intense. That was the most intense fighting chapter yet. Mm. This is like my... I think it's like my fourth time I'm like having references to Jacksepticeye. <laughs> Oh god, I really need to send this experience to him from, from my YouTube channel. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you guys really enjoyed this, leave a like and comment, and do not forget to subscribe. I'm done for a while with these, with these game series. <laughs> oh man, I am so done. I can't wait for the next chapter to come out. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching again, and I will see you all in the next video.